Greetings Heralds of the Titans and welcome back to the channel. Before we get into this video, I do want to say that there is a big spoiler warning, as the newest trailer for Godzilla x Kong The New Empire is absolutely chocked full of reveals and spoilers for the film. So if you want to go into the premiere with not knowing anything, as we're just a few days away now, please click off the video. But if you're interested in some of the new lore in this trailer, as well as some reveals about new titans that we can expect, and the history of the monsterverse itself, stay tuned for our breakdown. The trailer begins with some very interesting dialogue from the humans, indicating that Godzilla is now on the move. There is some dialogue here that reveals something very important about the way Godzilla operates though, stating that when Godzilla is on the move, it is because he senses a threat, as there are long periods of time where Godzilla lays dormant. As nature is laying dormant and there is nothing to challenge his rule, Godzilla really has no need to go mobile. However, when Godzilla begins to sense threats, he begins to absorb more energy. The threat coming from the Hollow Earth with the Scar King and Shimo proclaiming war on Godzilla in the surface world. Therefore, Godzilla becomes more mobile and active, giving us better insight into exactly why Godzilla was dormant for so long leading into the events of Monarch. We also get more information on the human population inside of the Hollow Earth, and some information about their relationship with Titans, revealing that Titans such as Kong and Mothra are not unique due to their connection with the human population, and that some Titans have actually formed a symbiotic relationship with humanity, while others, of course, became the protectors of nature itself. There appears to be a clear path that some Titans follow. Some form strong bonds with humanity, while others turn away. But what is clear from this brand new trailer, and various leaks, is that the relationship between Titans and humanity goes back far further than we initially anticipated. And the people within the Hollow Earth have had a strong relationship with various Titans, specifically the Titanus Kong and the Titanus Mothra, for a very long time now. As according to leaks, Mothra will sort of be the bridge between the Titan population and their ruler Godzilla and the human population, as Godzilla quite notably does not have a strong relationship with humanity and rather is the protector of Earth itself overall, not its human population. It appears as if a lot of the world building going on in the new empire will be Titan's relationships with one another, as of course we have the Scar King and Shimo, and now Godzilla and Kong, with a lot of the film illustrating how that relationship will blossom and further, with Godzilla and Kong learning to work together in a symbiotic relationship similar to the relationship that he has formed with Mothra. Godzilla is of course the ruler and the king, but he will need the other titans to conquer this threat and likely other threats in MonsterVerse films to come. The trailer goes on to illustrate that Kong is not meant to be alone, and that his species is very social, unlike Godzilla, who has been a solitary ruler. About midway through this final trailer, we get to see some cave paintings in the walls of the ancient Hollow Earth, depicting Godzilla in battle with a thus far unforeseen threat. The cave paintings also depict battles of various titans from across the eons, and it's clear that we'll be getting some big lore additions if we can pay attention to these cave paintings and cave markings. One of the biggest things we need to keep track of though is hints at the Zaslohawa, which was the Godzilla that ate a star in the ancient MonsterVerse legend. Within the Hollow Earth, of course, there was a Gojira that ate a dying star and therefore became corrupted by it, with many fans, myself included, believing that this is build up to a depiction of the monster verse Space Godzilla. Mentioning Space Godzilla, we also see more crystals in the Hollow Earth, and there is a prominent theory that Space Godzilla, or some depiction of him, will be one of the final threats in the MonsterVerse, although many of us, again myself included once more, believe Destroya should be a phenomenal final threat. Nonetheless though, the lore is preparing for the entrance of Space Godzilla, and hopefully he can show up in a form of some sort of hint or even an end credit scene. Moving on in the trailer, we also get more glimpses of Godzilla's battle with Scylla in Rome. We recently spoke about in a previous video how Scylla appears to be a sort of rogue titan, and that she shares similarities with titans such as Rodan as they like to test the hierarchy of titan culture. In Scylla's case, this is to feed on nuclear energy, as in the comics, we know that this is not the first time that Scylla has tested Godzilla's rulership. We then see some more battle between Kong and the Scar King, where we actually get to see Scar King break the barrier between the human population and the great apes. It is also revealed in this shot, with Scar King and his army, that he has taken Kong's axe that is forged out of the dorsal plate of a Gojira. 
We know though that Kong will in fact be getting another weapon in the form of the glove. Something else important to note though, is that according to various leaks, Kong is actually larger than Scar King is, and is much bulkier, and actually defeats Scar King in this one-on-one -on -one combat, and Scar King is only saved once he calls upon Shimo. Although this illustrates that without the help of Shimo, Kong should have been the rightful ruler of the great apes and the Titan is Kong. But now we know following this defeat, that Scar King has taken Kong's axe for himself with it now holding the energy of Shimo's Frost Blast, making it likely far more powerful than the normal axe would have been, since Godzilla was able to power up the axe in Godzilla vs. Kong, and this is in large part what led to Mechagodzilla's defeat. The axe itself will likely be a major key to the increased power of the Scar King. We then, of course, get various shots at action, including the big final leak, which depicts Shimo and Scar King jumping into battle against Godzilla and Kong. According to some people that have seen the film already, Godzilla is absolutely at his pinnacle of strength, with there being dialogue to indicate that Godzilla is potentially 20 times as powerful as his base form. And people have been saying that has seen Godzilla x Kong already, that this Godzilla is clearly the most powerful titan that we have seen to date. And then finally, we get the reveal of Mothra within the Hollow Earth. It is unclear whether or not the people here are from the Iwa population who worship Mothra, and whether or not this is where Mothra decided to lay her egg. But it is very compelling that there is a Mothra egg in the Hollow Earth, and it appears as if this Mothra will completely bypass her larva form, going directly into her final moth form. Here, we see her in a golden hue. Similarly to Godzilla, it has been known that Mothra has the ability to absorb power herself, and it's clear that she's been absorbing power from some sort of temple within the Hollow Earth indicating that the Mothra that we'll see here is also far more powerful than her base form. But anyway, my friends, this was our quick breakdown of hopefully the final trailer for Godzilla x Kong The New Empire. We did learn a lot about this, including the fact that Kong is a lot larger than Scar King is, the debut of Mothra in footage, as well as looks at the final battle in an upgraded Godzilla. But what are your thoughts on this final trailer and how the MonsterVerse is about to change, as well as how a lot of our main titans are going to get some massive buffs in power? What are your thoughts on the return of the Queen of the Monsters? And do you have your tickets for Godzilla x Kong? Please leave your thoughts down below if we missed anything in the breakdown, and is there anything in the film that you're most excited to see above anything else? Is it Shimo, Mothra, Godzilla's new form, or something else entirely? As always, Heralds of the Titans, hit that subscribe button and that like button if you enjoyed today's video, and have a great one.